What's up everybody? Well, got a little bit different video for you guys today. Instead of doing gameplay, we're actually going to put a SSD, or another M.2 SSD specifically, into this laptop. It's got two slots, so I don't even have to get rid of my uh, one with my OS on it or anything. I got a two terabyte one, so that's why the laptop's off right now, because we're about ready to break it open and install that. But first, let's go look at a couple things that you need if you're going to do this. All right, first thing that would help, you don't have to have this, but this is a a very cheap I fix it kind of clone that I got off, got off Amazon for $21.99 but mainly what we want is in this setter pouch right here Ooh. so if you get yourself one of these kits you'll have all this stuff so you can fix your laptop and a bunch of other stuff around the house but again this part isn't exactly necessary all that's really necessary is a screwdriver Phillips head this is a zero that's the size of this laptop's bottom screws take and then what it would also help you out is it's held together by little tabs that you got to pull apart before it'll let you open it so something like this will help you get it started without scratching the thing all up or damaging the plastic in any way. Then I would recommend something to put all the screws in. This is a nice little magnetic uh, little tray. So you can just put all the screws in there and then they cannot get lost. Even if you dump it upside down, they'll still be held in. If this thing falls off the table somehow, you're still good. This thing's super magnetic, but just a bowl or something to put them in so they don't get lost would be best. Now, if you're gonna be working on a hard surface, I'm gonna be working over here where I have a desk mat that's very soft, which won't hurt nothing. But if you don't have that and you just have like a hardwood table or a metal table or something, I would recommend getting a towel or something, a clean one. This one's obviously got cat hair all over it and whatnot, but just get a, a clean a towel just to set it down. That way it doesn't get scratched because if you set that lid on like a table and you move it around, it could get scratched up. Now, some people might not care about that, but just throwing it out there. Then, last but not least, you just need your uh, M.2 drive that you're going to install. I went with a silicon power one because I've had good luck with their uh, SATA SSDs in the past. And this one's got a five-year warranty, which is pretty decent, and it's two terabytes, which I figured was plenty for my laptop. Could have gone with a four or eight, but just didn't seem like it was really that necessary. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be needing to take that many games with me. But at least with this, I don't have to sit there and, you know, constantly delete games, depending on which one I want to play. And for you guys, now I can just install a bunch of games right off the rip instead of waiting and being like, oh, I feel like making a video today. Ah, oh, wait, I have to download the game first, even with, gig even with gigabit internet, and uh, it still takes a like 10, 15 minutes for certain games. Anyway though, let's get started and, uh, and get this laptop open and get this guy installed, shall we? Okay, we are ready to start. We've got our tools down here. We've got our little tray over there and kind of funny enough, it's actually being magnetically held to my desk to a metal bar that's through the table. That's how strong that magnet is. It's not on there super good, but it ain't gonna move around too far. So super simple, just pick some place to start. You can start wherever you want and just take the screws out one at a time. It's nice to have a magnetic screwdriver as well to help get them out and last time I went around and undid all of them for you but this time I'm just going to shut the camera off because I'm pretty sure if you're going to attempt something like this you at least know how to unscrew screws otherwise no offense but this is probably out side of your realm of, you know, actually being able to achieve. Now, when you get to the middle row, some of them are going to be a little bit longer than some of the other screws. So just make sure you keep that separately. Well, I'll show you a comparison. The front screws are the little one in my right hand. The middle screws are all this long, I believe. All right, now these back screws are also long. So make sure you keep those with the long screws and don't get them confused with the front screws. Oh. Come out of there, you. There's another one. Come on, you. It's time to come out. Here we go. Then we got one more in the back here. Well, technically two more screws. There's still one front screw that I left in on purpose because this guy right over here, you unscrew to a certain point and then you hear a little snap. That one doesn't actually come out all the way. That's as far as that one comes out. So don't try and spin it. It ain't gonna come out. It's not designed to. So now we can actually work on getting the back open. All right. Now I've already done this, but off camera, cause it can be a little bit tough to do on camera, but just get this guy started and then just kind of go along. And just pry it up little by little. And as you can see, the more I lift up, the more it's exposed and the easier it'll be. Here we go, now we've got the whole front. Now I'm just gonna get the back off and then we'll get this thing installed. All right, once you get all of the tabs to release around the whole circumference of the laptop, you're just gonna very carefully lift up, but don't lift up too far now. 
because there's two tabs right there and those are your RGB ribbon cables. Now you could take those out if you wanted to. There's two little tabs you can pull. There's little blue tabs down there. I don't know if you guys can see them. Let's actually move in a little closer. All right, now you can probably see what I'm talking about. These two little blue tabs right there and right there. You pull those gently, it'll take those out. I don't wanna mess with them, so I'm not going to. So let's work on actually installing the secondary M.2, which will go right up here. But let's get the camera situated in a much better location. All right, now we got the camera all nice and situated. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take out this screw right here. Maybe. All right, wrong size screw head. We'll be back. Okay, so I had to go get some pliers to help to get that thing out, and that is absolutely ridiculous. You should not have to do that, but if yours is so tight that it won't come out, this is the correct size screw head. You just have to carefully get it out, and then it should come right out. Be very careful, don't lose this little guy, because he's what holds your M.2 in. I'm gonna put him over in the little magnetic doobie over there. Now all you're gonna wanna do is take your new M.2, hold the laptop so it doesn't slide, just in case you shouldn't have to put that much pressure on it, but just in case. And then while that's plugged in, you just get your screw back on there. There we go. And we're not gonna crank it down nearly as hard as they did. That's good enough. Yep, as long as it's not loose. Not loose, we're good. And there we go. That's how easy it is to install uh, another M.2. And then if you wanted to do your uh, Wi-Fi and upgrade that, because that's really the only other part of this laptop that's kind of a little wonky, is that would be located right underneath there. You can kind of see it a little bit underneath there. But now, let's put this back together. Also, just as a suggestion, uh, I haven't dusted this thing out in a long time since I put my RAM in and you can see some dust build up right around there. So this would be a great time to dust out your laptop before putting it back together too. Just figured I'd throw that out there. All right, now that you've got the laptop kind of where it should be aligned, just go around and snap everything back into place. You gotta push kind of hard, just don't push so hard that you break your screen. All right, I think that's good. Just take your laptop and make all, sure all the seams are closed. Last time I didn't close that one when I made my last video and someone pointed it out. Let's see how we do on this side. Yeah, it looks like everything is... Nope, there we go. We still had one little snap right there underneath that guy. All right, and the front is good, and there you go. Now you got all the snaps back in, you can start screwing stuff back down. All right, and I always like to start with the one that doesn't even come out, just to kind of have it, you know, so it doesn't move, not like it probably can. And then you can just start one by one putting your screws back in. All right. Get some of these guys in the back end, huh? Whoop, get in there, you. there we go. Not always easy to do when you can't actually see the hole you're trying to put it in. Go, get another one locked in. Let's just do it this way then. There we go. Once you get it in the hole, not such a big deal. All right, that one's all in. And I'm just gonna finish up off camera. And there we go. We've got all the screws snug as a bug in a rug. And now we can go boot into Windows, which will change on over to uh, screen capture mode for that, because we gotta go into disk management for one more thing before the disk is probably utilized. If you turn it on right now, it probably won't show up in your My Computer or this PC or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, figure before we jump to screen capture, let's see if the thing even stern, turns on anymore if I broke the RGB or what have you so nope RGB strips light enough I didn't break shit hell yeah I always get worried with finite stuff like that I've never been the best with very delicate things yet somehow here I am being into computers and whatnot funny how life works all right oh we're just gonna move the camera right there real quick just sign in real quick and then let's see if I was right nope it's not there just like I thought so all right let's change over to screen capture right quick and we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, so once you boot into Windows, you'll notice, hey, my SSD's not here. What the hell, is it broken? Nope, probably not. All you gotta do is come down to the start button, right click on it, go to disk management, and then it's gonna say, oh, you have a new disk to initialize. So just leave it on whatever it is right there, hit okay. So now it's unallocated. So now you need to make a new simple volume and we're just gonna call it, you can call it, just leave it in new volume if you want, but we're gonna call it games because I'm gonna install most games to it. Hit next, 
hit finish and there you go now it'll pop up right there you can close that now and then you can go over here and check and look at that games is right there properties 1.1 or 1.81 terabytes very good and that's how easy it is to install an ssd m.2 into your uh, g15 advantage laptop so why don't we just wrap this video up now shall we well all right we're all done we've got a drive windows sees it so congratulations if you followed my guide and everything works i'm happy my guide helped you out and i also have to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing gotta say i had went from having like 350 subs after starting this youtube channel back in like 2005 when youtube was like conceived and barely had any views a couple of my videos you know had decent views but now we've gone from 350 all the way up to almost a thousand already so i'm gonna keep on having fun making these videos about this laptop and other various tech things and hopefully who knows maybe i'll be at a hundred thousand subs in a, in a year here so that's my next big goal after a thousand subs is uh ten thousand then fifty thousand then a hundred thousand that's pretty much my goals thank you guys again hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one peace out everybody